Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. Today is uh, Thursday, June 28th. We're talking right now with Joe Gavassi from JoeGavassiSports.com. We're taking an early look at some games that go tomorrow in MLB. Uh, we don't have uh, the lines for these games yet, but we're going to get Joe Gavassi's early thoughts on where betting value might lie. I'll be interested to hear your breakdown and analysis of the uh, Colorado Rockies and LA Dodgers game that uh, that goes tomorrow. The pitching matchup is Tyler Anderson against Rich Hill. Rich Hill, of course, uh, when he's on his game is great, but he's also also uh, a little bit inconsistent, you know, his, uh, his high volatility with with uh, with Rich Hill. Usually we get either a, a six inning shutout start from him or he does give up four or five runs uh, when he's off his game. And on the other side, Tyler Anderson starting for uh, Colorado has not been very reliable either this year. And then uh, the Dodgers, of course, have started to pick things up offensively. They've been winning recently. Colorado is the opposite. They've uh, overall on the year, they have a great record on the road, but their last, uh, they lost two in a row against San Francisco already. In their, on their current uh, road stand uh, and uh, on the, in their current road series at San Francisco. We'll see how that, uh, what they do today in, in game three of that series. But, you know, their offense has slumped out a little bit. They've lost four in a row. So things uh, in general over the last five games or so, looking up for the Dodgers, looking down for Colorado. And uh, I'm wondering what we should expect from, uh, from this game tomorrow on Friday. What's your take on it, Joe? I'm going to follow that team momentum and take advantage of some run line numbers transform what figures to be a rather healthy favorite for the Dodgers into a run line underdog for us in this one. Let's specify some of these troubles that Colorado has had of late, in which they have lost four games and scored only nine runs in the process doing it. They spoke about the fact they were a winning team on the road, Peter. Yes, they are. Yes, they had been 21 and 13 on the road. They're still holding on to that winning record, but have gone just two and seven recently on the road returning to earth as many expected them to do at the beginning of the season. Now for the Dodgers, you all remember that run they had for about 60 games in the middle of last baseball season, where they won over 80% of their games. They're on that same kind of run now, going 27 and nine of late. And remember that was without Kershaw in the rotation and some other injured players as well. So playing 750 ball over 36 games is pretty hefty, particularly when you note that in the last 22 games, L.A. Dodger lineup, which is clearly one of the most powerful offensive units in the league, has averaged 6.1 runs per game in those last 22 games. Anderson for Colorado, as you mentioned, very mediocre at best with 462 ERA and 792 OPS. Those are play against numbers. And Hill, spotty, but since his return from the DL, has pitched rather well. And remember, those blisters can pop up at any time for Hill, but he thinks he has them under control now, so I expect a rather decent start out of him. We turn to the fundamentals with my OPS ratings, and my OPS ratings have flashed, as could be expected, a buy sign on the LA Dodgers. For $100 betters per game, these OPS ratings, and you can read all about those with the OPS article, have won $3,900 for $100 betters. So we must pay attention to them when they flash a buy sign as they have on the L.A. Dodgers in this one. They have the number five to number 22 OPS advantage and a buy sign because that number five record is five points better than their number 10 overall ranking in the standings. In addition, there's a notable edge in the bullpen, number 11 to number 29. Finally, for years, Colorado has been in the bottom of my run line rankings, and this year is no exception as 33 of Colorado's 42 defeats have come by two or more runs. We're going to take a shot with the Dodgers and Hill. Hope he has one of his great games. it will be Dodgers easily on the run line tomorrow against Colorado. All right, sounds good. We'll see what the line is when it opens. Joe Gavassi expecting a good start from uh, from Rich Hill tomorrow, or hoping for it at least, and uh, thinking that it might be worth a play to bet into that and take the Dodgers on the run line. Joe Gavassi, thanks so much. Tell us about your website, JoeGavassiSports.com. JoeGavassiSports.com features run line articles every week in which I update the teams who have an 80% or better run line record, both at home, away, off a win and off a loss. It is an outstanding way to do your run line handicapping. Check it out. There are 23 qualifying teams up there for you. Right now, jogavazisports.com. Click on articles. Been Jogavazi Sports. Thanks for listening and good luck to you guys. Thanks, Joe.
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.